once we loaded the data the data will be visible on the power bi desktop okay so let's quickly see that where the data will be visible and from where you can start creating the visualization as well so here you can see guys in the power bi we have three options first is the report view second is the data view okay so at the corner you will see the three options in here maybe it's not visible so but at the corner you will see a three option the report data and modeling click on the second option which is the data view as soon as you click on a data view the whole data will be visible on your particular screen which includes what are the columns in here name location locality city and cuisine okay once you see a complete data if you want to check out the more information about these data set as well we have a restaurants in here click on the restaurants okay you will see a complete particular columns which is available in the data set okay so this is a data view all about and once you check a complete data you need to switching over to the report view the first section at the top so this is the report view guys and i want to tell you one more thing all the icons at the top it's there is no name at the top of icon right because it's a shorter icon view which you can see in here in a power bi interface but if you want to check out a complete icon at the corner okay near to the publish we have a small arrow okay check out your interface i hope you are doing everything practically with me so near to the publish we have a small arrow in here click on that arrow and you will see a bigger options now okay if you hit on the arrow again you will see small options again okay so hit on the arrow which is near to the publish and you will see a big options now with the proper names which is like excel workbook one lake data hub then we have sql servers enter data data wars and so on okay you will see a complete bigger options in here i recommend you to just work on the options like this not only this guys understand one thing it's a very important concept in power bi you need to sign in okay but without signing in as well you can load the data you can create reports you can create visuals without signing in as well but in case let's say whatever you have created and you want to share it with someone then in that case you need to sign in into power bi because if you want to share the report with someone you need to share with the help of qr qr codes or with the help of proper links so for that we need to click on publish for an example guys you have a gmail id okay we can't sign in into power bi using gmail ids we need to have a proper work professional like work email id in order to sign in into power bi okay so if you want to sign in into power bi make sure that you use the proper work email id the professional ids if you don't have any don't worry about it i will gonna recommend you how you can make a professional email ids for free as well okay but as of now you don't need to sign in into power bi so no need to sign in as of now and i have already told you where the data section look like now let's start with building the visualizations in the power bi so as you can see guys at the top we have option of new visual okay and if you see the new visual option if you click on this particular down arrow you will see a complete visualization options in front of you okay if we talk about this new visual section in here what you need to do is we have multiple options we will going to start with this. click on the chart okay and we have a proper chart in front of you as you can see now this particular chart is blank there is no data inside it what you need to do is you need to click on add data in y axis and legends you just need to click on proper you know where you want to add your data sets okay now what we need to do is here we have x axis and in x axis what you need to enter understand one thing in x axis we can uh, you know get the data which is related to a string values the data type needs to be string like the abc format data where we have characters so here in x axis i will going to take name of the restaurant okay now in y axis i will going to take what i'll going to take some numeric data which is which can be um the rating of the restaurant okay so we have the restaurant and we have all the ratings in front of them okay so now we have successfully created our first visual in power bi where you can see a proper restaurants with the ratings as well okay 
now this is how we can build your first visual we have multiple options like we have option of legends small multiples and tool tips we'll gonna figure it out later on this is how like we can create your first visual in here okay now once you create your first visual power bi is completely flexible like if you want to increase the size of a visual click on it and then drag it from here okay as you can see you can drag it from any place in all over the we can say canvas the blank space where we are creating a visual these blank space where we create a multiple visual will create more 10 to 15 visuals in here this is called a complete canvas okay so now we have this particular visual and uh, that's how from a corner we can increase the size of a particular visual as well here it is from the corner itself that's how you can increase the size of any visual whatever you're going to create okay so here in x axis we have all the names of a restaurant and in y axis we have a proper rating of the restaurant as well okay so click on the visual if you want to increase the size then increase the size like this you can drag and increase the visual from top to you know from a complete right to left in here not only this guys let's say i want to do some formatting like at the top i want to see a proper ratings as well so for that we need to do formatting on the visuals okay so that's about like how to create your first visual in power bi in the next session i'll let you know how to do a formatting on the visuals as well and how to create more multiple visuals as well like line chart area chart donut chart pie chart and so on okay i hope you like the video Uh, see you in the next session and don't forget to subscribe the youtube channel thank you